I think for Francis, I bet I would be willing to bet that his camp has really focused on conditioning because the best thing about Sarah gone is his footwork and he's going to have to cut him off easier said than done. And it's not going to be easy to do early on. It's just not going to happen early on. So Francis has to hopefully corner him, cut him off to be able to land one of those punches, even in tight quarters. I'll take it. But what we don't, if you're a Francis fan, what you don't want is this fight at a distance. If this fight is at a distance. Sarah gone is winning in every way possible on the scorecards with kicks and his, you know, his jab and he's too technical. He's not getting hit. We need Francis to blitz him, which he's going to do. What I do like is Cyril's a big guy. Don't get me wrong, but he doesn't have that God given knockout power like Francis has. So even if Francis were to charge in and Cyril's going to counter, I'm not worried about him knocking out Francis opposed to if Cyril were to rush Francis, you're going to get knocked the fuck out. So the, the, that's also another chip in Francis's corner where he can, he can risk a little more, get a little sloppy. You're going to get touched. Now you can put a combo together, a kick to the face, and knock him the fuck out. Cyril's also a big dude, so you don't want to let that happen too often, but we can get away with one or two before your lights are turned off. Francis, you get away with nothing. We need one little mistake. We need one should have zigged when he should have, you know, zagged, and he's it, the fight's over and Francis wins. I'm banking on that. I'm banking on the moments too big for Cyril Gon. I'm banking on Francis realizes what he's fighting for. Hopefully, because his learning experience in the steep A fight, that he he does well under this pressure. It's not too much for him, and he comes out on top. Um, I'm taking Francis uh, via KO under three rounds.